ominous knocks. Hail the Lord of the Night. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warhammer 4000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And it's time for another painting guide and what I got in store today is that I'm actually going to be painting something entirely different from previous painting guides and episodes. Today I'm going to be starting a painting a Raven Guard and you people might wonder why in well, why on earth would Forkmaster be painting a Raven Guard? Well, uh, he is a part of my upcoming Chiroptera squad. If you have read Prince of Kraus, you will know that one of the mysterious members of the new Chiroptera is a former Raven Guard member who turned from his Primarch. Uh, and I should say, Today is the 4th of May 2013, so May the 4th be with you all. Peace out and all that. So, uh, I, I tried to look through the YouTube sh the YouTube sh channels for some tips and tip and how to paint the Raven Guard. I did not find any, so this might be the, one of the first painting guides of a Raven Guard. Uh, I have never painted the Raven Guards before. And so this will be a very exciting endeavor, a very exciting adventure to try out. To my help I have Shadow Captain Carviday from Forge World. He, I will, as you can see I have both his head here then another one. I'm gonna paint up both the original head where you see him screaming running forward with his thunder hammer. Uh, but if I remember Prince of Crowds correctly, he did actually still have two eyes. So that's why I'm using a regular Space Marine head here, as you've seen in previous episodes. And I might be using that one instead. Uh, my first step, which I should go through, is painting the typical armor. And if you remember Raven God correctly, that is black. And of that, you always, uh, or I usually go for the trimmings, and the Raven Guard have white trimmings. And then I often paint, uh, paint the metallics, so that's when Lead Belcher arrives. So, for step one, here on 4th of May 2013, I will begin painting with Chaos Abaddon Black, or Chaos Black as it was used to known, on the armor on the, of the model. And I will be painting Ceramite White on its trimmings and on the Legion mark. As you can see, Shadow Captain Carviday has the Legion mark here, 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 and here. Those will be painted in Ceramite White. If I accidentally touch with the other paints on the mark, because I already sprayed it white, which is kind of stupid. Anyway. And then I will be painting Lead Belcher on the metallics, usually on the hammer, on the uh, in be uh, between the armor joints, and on the backpack. So yeah, so that's what I will be doing for the next step. So see you in step two. Hello and welcome back to step two of this painting guide. Uh, today it is the second of June, 2013. Uh, it's uh, right in the middle of hot, hot, the, be the beginning of a hot summer here in Sweden. So, and also the end of my semester of, at the university. So, that's why it's been a bit of busy time period for me. But here I am again. So, what you can see here, I have finally painted black on the main armor bits and filled out with white on the parts where it's supposed to be, like here on the edge of the armor and I also filled in on the iconography I also painted the metallics on the weapon uh, as you can see the the main mark is white and around it is also white then there's supposed to be some leaves around here which I painted in uh, 
metallics called the lead belcher. The same I've done with this this part of model. And you see the bubbles or the thing on the left I've painted white. I think this is a Mark 6 armor type. So, so. And then we have the heads, which you can see here. Yeah, I only painted metallics around it and left the white be as it is. As you guys know, the, the head here on the right is the ori original head for the Shadow Captain. And the head on the left is a sergeant's head from a regular Space Marine box. Uh, because the model which this is supposed to represent is Alistar Ruchal, a Raven Guard captain of, during the Horus Heresy. And he was supposed to still have both his eyes, and so that's why this head is inappropriate to use. That's why I want to use the regular sergeant's head. But I am painting this up at the same time, so those who actually want a regular Shadow Captain model can see how to do it here. Let's see here in the back. So what I'm gonna be doing for the next part, I'm gonna be painting bleach bone on the part, uh, parchment, which you can see down here. Here and here, I'm gonna be painting Evil Sun's red on the on the parchment's uh, wax part, the back wax part and at the upper part. And I'm thinking about painting this in red as well, to give it some contrast in the model, so it's just not black and white. Either either red or li li uh, bleach bone. I'm not certain at this point. Then I'm gonna be painting Mornfang Brown on, on the hammer and give it some golden look. And you always start with Mornfang Brown as a base and then you use Shining Gold on top of that. And lastly, I'm gonna be using Nun Oil on the entire model, both the, me the metallics on the golden areas, the red areas and the white areas. So now you know what I'm gonna be doing for the next part, so see you in step 3. Do not waste my time. I will not forget this. Ah, leave it. I will break you all. Another day then.